Hi everyone, it's Melania here from Tech Day, back with another Insights video. So over the month of September, there was a few things that we can talk about. Number one being I was in New York for a week for the Evolve 25 conference, which was hosted by Cloudera. Uh, that is their annual sort of data and AI conference, so I felt very lucky to be able to attend that. The best part about that for me was that I had the chance to sit down with their C-suite executives in the course of just one day. So that was one jam-packed day full of interviews, and it's quite rare to do that, to get the chance to tick that all off in one day. So I felt very productive, and yeah, it was great. I learned so much from those interviews, honestly, and the stories that have come out of it have been really good. And if you haven't checked them out, feel free to do that on our website. So that conference was very exciting, and once I headed back home to Sydney, Australia, I realised just how intense the Optus uh, emergency outage had become. So there was not only one, but there was two. So that was, I would say, probably the top story of the past week that I wrote, um, just that Optus had suffered you know, its second emergency outage in 10 days. So the first was on September 18th, and it caused a 13-hour outage to the triple zero line, and it's now linked to four deaths. So these are people who couldn't get the help that they needed in times that they needed it. The second outage just last weekend blocked emergency calls for over 4,500 people. Australia's government did voice that they are, of course, furious, and these failures have triggered national outrage and, of course, regulatory pressure as well. But the deeper issue here, I would say, is infrastructure fragility, and it has been no doubt a pretty big wake-up call for the entire tech sector. In terms of themes that I've noticed in my own reporting, I would say that there are three this month. So we've got AI agentic platforms and automation. I'm noticing from executives that as these companies start to automate more of their infrastructure, resilience and oversight must also evolve in parallel. So you can't really be leaving one or the other behind. They all need each other, just like a pea in a pod. You know, you need your pals, basically. The second theme was identity and trust frameworks. Trust is no longer just like a branding exercise. It's about guaranteed service delivery when it matters the most. The third theme was sovereign and edge infrastructure. Australia and New Zealand are rethinking sovereign clouds, edge compute, and carrier neutral for, for, uh, failover models. No system should be a single point of failure, basically, is the key message here. So to you PR agencies thinking, what stories are doing the, the, the best on Tech Day's sites? What are, our, what are their readers interested in? And what should we be pitching? I would say align your pitches to these trends. And yeah, that's my advice. But I will be seeing you all next month for the next Insights video. And thank you so much for watching.